KSM Show. My name is Lindaya Ampa. Keep watching the KSM Show, King of Prime Time TV. Hey, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. And hey, we're hanging out with Felicia Trumacy, an entrepreneur extraordinary, an uh, extraordinaire. Let me put it that way. Meanwhile, you know, I'm talking and we are talking and it's like, we haven't even scratched the surface of what you, the, the bulk of what you do, man. What markets are you in now? You're in UK? UK is our main market. We okay. have three customers there, three big customer distributors. We are in Holland. We have three customers there. We are in Belgium. We have one customer. Mm. Then we are in Germany. We have one customer. Then we have US. Then when it comes to Africa, we have Equatorial Guinea. And we have uh, Cape Verde. And then wow. Sen Senegal, Gambia. Senegambia. Yeah, wow. show some love, man. <laughs> and and, and, and this, is all, this is all from a woman who went to study land economy and your mother was expecting to get into land economy she wanted me to be a banker oh she wanted you to be a and banker my mother my mother had this funny belief that i can be the president of ghana she 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 had that belief i don't know where you can still be no, she, <laughs> it was very funny i was wondering she said you could have been president no, oh no. really <laughs> yes she said that i was shocked wow yeah she 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 has so much belief in me i don't know I she was being prophetic. One day we are there. <laughs> no, no, no. Politics is out. Politics is out. Okay. But let's come back to your business. And um, I want to talk about very quickly. You're also uh, the, the marketing woman of the month from the Stanford Transformational uh, Network, STN. And that's how I, I got in touch with you because uh, my cousin Linda told me, says, KSM, you must talk to her. Here is uh, an extraordinary businesswoman and entrepreneur, you know. So I'm glad you're here now. But tell me, how, your whole involvement with this Stanford Transformational Network and what you have learned out of it, what you have gotten out of it, then we'll continue. Oh, we have learned a lot. Uh, what I've learned is enormous. Um, that was 2015. Mm. I remember the first time they established uh, Stanford seat here. I was the first person they got in touch. Uh, an Indian lady from Stanford. You know, but I was thinking that, you know, I don't need it. But after two years... Why did she get in touch with you? They were looking for businesswomen? They went to the bank. And okay. uh, if I'm wrong, or they were looking for businesses above $500,000 to bring them in. Okay. You know, because we, we're going to talk money. We're gonna, mm -hmm. we're not, we want you to grow. Stanford is something that you... you they, they, help you to transform your business. Mm, so, mm. And then the best thing about it is to give you a coach mm. from a very experienced coach from Stanford, California, to be part of your business to okay. advise. Okay. So it's very good. And the value of your business then had to be at least five hundred thousand dollars. Yes, I remember okay. very well. So I think they went to the banks and then they were going around to get to people. So I should have been one of the first people but I was a third, I mean, one of the third batch, yeah, mm -hmm, third mm -hmm. batch. And what I learned from Stanford was the transformation plan. Mm. Um, you, you get so busy. You know, entrepreneurs, one problem with us is we, most of us are not managers. Entrepreneurs are not managers. Most of us are Explain not that. Um, we, we strategize and we need people to implement it. Mm. When we go in to implement it, we always make mistakes mm. because you think that people should be as smart as you. You get irritated, people get offended, mm. it goes on and on. So when you have a manager, he or she knows how to go around, implement how to talk to people, implement, your, your manage them, mm. have policies and all that. So Stanford helped me to put down a lot of my strategy. Mm. I used to have them in my diary. But we were supposed to write how we're going to transform our business. And sometimes you get to a point that you become very comfortable. But at Stanford, I realized that I cannot be comfortable. Mm. I should move from my comfort zone. Mm. So I wrote... Comfortable meaning you're, you're getting complacent with what you have? Not complacent, and staying... not complacent but sometimes, you know, humans are like that. You, th you think success is mm. having business and you know, the normal money you have and you can do anything that you want. But, you know, business should affect the society. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be only you. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to affect society. 
before you make the money. And so we, I came up with my transformation plan for 15 years, you know, and uh, it was very good. That is when I sat down and then knew where I want to go. Mm. Though I knew where I wanted mm -hmm. to go, but you I actually had, had it crafted and crafted yeah. with the supervisors and telling you, you can't do this, you have to do that. They ask you why you want to go this fast and all that. And then they put in effort, they help you. You know, um, in Harvard, you do that, but you do case studies and all that, but you don't have a coach mm, who come mm. to your business. I had a coach. Okay. Yeah. Who, what was the name? It was a man. And I remember very well, I think I was too loud in class, so <laughs> no coach wanted me. But I later, <laughs> they, they really liked me. So uh, that is one of the advantages, one of the best things that happened to me. Mm. So what I did was I phased them into three years, 15 years transformation plan, about three years implementation, face them, you know, 2016, 2017, 2018. But interestingly, I've not been able to do that. You have your short-term plan, mm -hmm. as usual, your medium-term plan, and your long-term long plan. I have done the medium and the long-term, the short-term plan. I haven't done the short-term. I haven't done it. That makes it a bit silly. And you ask me, what is a short-term plan? engaging human capital to mm. run the business. So difficult. Engaging human capital, yeah. really? Very difficult. Will you count that as one of the most challenging areas you've, you've faced that since is, getting... That is one of the challenging really? areas that I face because um, you, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not fortunate. You bring people in who do not believe in your dream. Mm. And I don't want to say this, but I think also because you are a woman. And unfortunately, maybe uh, my children's generation are coming up. Most of people that you can engage are men. You know, those uh, high brain, they are men. And some of them walk out because you insist that something should be done. Oh, really? Yes. They can't take it from a woman. They can't take it from a woman. And I think most of the issues also come from me because I'm too strong and uh, I insist. And uh, I've, I've been learning through these three years now that some of the things I shouldn't say mm. because I'm somebody I don't miss my words. You see everything I as it comes. Exactly. <laughs> but I've learned that I have to keep quiet yeah. so that they can do what they... But you can see that they are going off. Yeah. And you, you have no right to correct them. And it has been one of the main issues, mm, you know. Mm. And uh, sometimes I, I sit back and ask myself, is that my fault? But I don't think so. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. I think they just don't believe in my What's the strength of your business now? I know you have uh, some in Kumasi, you have you're into soap, liquid soap you're doing, the palm thing. I mean, what's, the, what, what, what's currently, what's the... The strength. The strength, yes. I don't think I have the strength. I can you see. I believe in. I have something I call the pyramid in business. Mm -hmm. You know, within the pyramid, you have your visions and goals. At the left hand side, you have your resources, and resources are not money; it's human capital. And at the left hand side, you have your businesses. You know, and then down the pyramid, implementation. Mm -hmm. I have the middle one: visions and goals. I have businesses, I don't have uh, resources, I don't talking about money, no, the human because capital. you can yeah. have all the money, they will come and just mismanage it, and I don't have implementers. So to me, sometimes I tell myself, why did I want to grow? But as a business person, as an entrepreneur, you have to move on. I don't think I have the strength now. Mm. I can only have the strength when I have the core management group that can, can sit and we plan. Because my leadership skill is I would like to roll people in mm. and take multilateral decisions. Mm. I'm not a boss. But if I'm a boss, the typical boss, I'll be a very bad boss. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. I'm not. I believe in people coming in and then using their own idiosyncrasies to come up with things so that we can sit down. But 
you give them that one and then destroy everything. Mm. So I don't think I have the strength now. Mm. Mm. And I'm, I'm, I believe that uh, success comes only when you refuse to fail. Success comes when only you refuse to, to fail. fail. Because mm. you have goals so strong. So those obstacles, like what I'm telling you, mm. the losses mm. and all that, mm. it's nothing because mm. they act as motivation. Okay. And I have a philosophy that I always tell myself, tell people that everything has a solution. God created us and gave a solution for everything except one thing that he didn't give it to us. Which one? Death. When you die, that's it. So till I ha now that I have breath, I'll still go on. And within a month now, I told you I'm very spiritual. So it was a battle. Because I can see diamonds climbing up. Going all around me, but diamonds. I can't, I can't touch it. But I can't reach it. Yes. So I was like, because the, we have so much potential, but I don't have the plowers and the harvesters to help us to move. It was only last month, last month, only last month, that I got this girl. She's a better. She is what I always wanted for the past four years. You got it from where? I went on the LinkedIn. I've been looking for help. I go to my RM's banks. I tell my commercial bank, uh, banker, this is what I'm facing. Because we could do a lot. And so I, I, he, he introduced me to a guy called Yao. So I went to Yao and Yao said, Mommy, I can help. So he went on the LinkedIn. So you know how business people are. I cannot be on LinkedIn for mm. an hour mm. going through these things. Yeah. yeah. He went there. He and went stayed there and, and stayed there and got this girl. And she is six for something, so she commands authority. Wow. I won't believe Ghanaian. Ghanaian. You won't believe that she came in June. All the men resigned. They resigned? Yeah. They found a threatening or she couldn't understand her. She, she was, she, she said there are policies. Second day, she, she suspended people. Days. And then I got another quality assurance. I had a very terrible issue last year. We, we sell a lot of gallery too, in containers. And I don't know what happened. They put something in the container. Feathers, uh, weevils. It was intentional. And you didn't discover them until they go to the market? They got there. They... No, they got there. I have, we have an office in Leicester. So it, got, it gets through there. gets through the, the whatever they used to clear it. And they saw it in. So they called me on Saturday. You not believe Saturday evening I was on the flight. Because we were going to throw everything away. And it was a staff. It was a staff? Yeah, there were two of them. You found them? We found them. Do you have, have you prosecuted them? No. You just let them go? I think one thing that you have to avoid in business is litigation. It's a waste of time. Avoid litigation. It's a waste of time, waste of resources, because you look back and it's your fault. That has also helped me. You, you look know, back and it's your fault? It's my fault, yes. Where you went wrong in hiring them? You, you, you hire wrong people. You were supposed to be there when they were hiring them. You were not there. Mm. You believed in them. So you gave them the space. And you have to take responsibility for that. I do take responsibility for that. So that is one thing that has really helped me. Because you look back and 99% of wrong things that happen in your life are your fault. Mm. If you don't give space, who come in? What will come in? Right? My children tell me, who is your friend? You have never seen somebody come in <laughs> to the house. Mm. Why don't you have a friend? I don't. I have business friends. But I don't have, mm -hmm. you know, bosom friends. That be, because it's my fault. I go like, what did I do to them for them to do this? If I show you what they put in, I show to Stanford. And I was supposed to give a presentation to Stanford on Wednesday. So... Since my mom died, nobody calls me on Saturdays. All my phone calls are business calls. 
So I heard a ping, 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 ping. I was like, who is this? So I picked my phone. And then, infestation. You need to come now. Then I went through pictures. Wow. Feathers. Wow. So how many bags say you have to come? So immediately, I tried to get on British Airways. And it was three containers. Why of 70,000? All of them damaged. Having paid. No, they don't, they don't even check the other ones. They will call the mm, help. They won't mm, check. Mm, even mm, if it's mm. too bad, they won't That's check. It. Yeah, That's okay. it. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I quickly called my son. They booked me with us. And the British was full. So I went by Belgian Airlines, Brussels Airlines. I got there, went to London, went straight to Leicester. Oh, my goodness. I, I think I'm a very strong woman, but that day... It broke you. It broke me. The first thing I told myself, what did I do to these staff for them to do this to me? Why? What did they say you did? Yes. What, did you, what have you learned Le that they say you did? Yeah, exactly. So I, I didn't know I was so strong. 25 kilos, I picked them like nobody's business. <laughs> wow. The brain is powerful. So we sat down and Kapesh said, you know what? We can't bribe them. So what we're going to do is we have to take 100 bags off. Just to let them know we've thrown them away. Mm. So you need to go and buy this and come in. Thank God I had money on my card. I had to spend almost 3,000 pounds that day wow. to buy that to... thing for the, to throw it away. All this while I was like, what did I do? That's what I'm telling you, that you have to reflect. Mm. That was Sunday. I got on Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, I was back. And I haven't taken my bath for two days. And I have wow. to come and do my presentation for Stanford. So when I came, that was the first time I told them. I told them, this is what has happened to me. Everybody was quiet. Wow. And fast forward. After that, we got more orders. We got more orders. More Show orders. some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. They said that would be the end of their business. So I was like, whoa. So now, as I said, it was my fault. They, because we've grown out of where we are now, mm -hmm. so the new place didn't have cameras. So now I have to put cameras there. And it becomes very tiring working with people you don't trust. So tiring. Mm. <laughs> you, so, you can't relax you because can't, you don't trust. The, you can't people. relax wow. because now... They gave us around 29 every time I'm there. Every mm. time I'm there. And those days I was not there. Let me backtrack quickly. What happened with Alberta who was doing... Alberta is still there. She's still there? No, Alberta was not. I came this June. Okay, okay, okay. Alberta okay. came this June. So she's still on and her she's revolution? Be, she, she's still on the <laughs> revolution. She'll be on my, my bed, I mean, Alberta, and then I have Vida. And I got another lady. This all happened in June. Wow. Four years. Wow. And I had another one for logistics. And they're all women. So it's going to be a woman. I said. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. By the way, the larger process from my female crew, man. I mean. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's, it's actually very difficult. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Because um, the plans were so lofty and you know if i had the people two of me we could move because with Alberta and vida we've been able to achieve you know we could do five in a month now two, three of us three of you and all women are fair and then the production manager is coming because uh, vida is the qa and i sent her production and she's just an intern she's an intern she's an intern very proactive lady and then the production manager coming is also an engineer, a woman. Oh, wow. <laughs> Show some love, man. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. So the next few minutes that you have, um, one, I want you to tell us, so all that you've gone through and are going through, what is the relevance of STN in all of this? And two, what are your immediate outlook for, 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 for your company? With the STN, um, Ellie has been contacting me a lot, mm. I expressing when, I, when they got to know the contamination, 
Mm. Everybody was worried. But Stanford, for example, my coach, we talk a lot. I still communicate with him. When I'm going for negotiations, I call him. Um, Stanford is like a network. We mm. have friends. Mm. As a matter of fact, it's true that I had family friends now that we go sometimes go out to have life. Because none of us had life. It's money, 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 money. Mm. But I'm telling you, mm. money is nothing. You've mm. got to have good people around you. Mm. Mm. Stanford has been a backbone to me. Stanford made me learn that you need to strategize. You need to sit down and plan well. And then you should have somebody as a coach. Because mm. I remember my mentor asked me a question. And I went on and on and on and on and on <laughs> with the business. And she just listened to me. And after they said, I'm talking about you. <laughs> that is when I realized I didn't have a life. Wow. So through Stanford, wow. I have friends like Linda. We can talk. Yeah. You know, you can talk on the same plane. Mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. talk about big money. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can't have a friend that you have to talk about makeups, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then wigs and all and that. Then and, and then wigs and, and the weaves. That. And then wigs. So it has really helped us. And then Fantastic. there's a very big network. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, congratulations one more time for being the woman of the month. And by the way, folks, um, uh, Safa is uh, uh, now collaborating quite deeply with the, the Seed Transformation Network. And each month when they come up with their member, whether it's a he or a she, trust me, you will meet them here with us. Show some love. Uh, <laughs> and let's show some love for Felicia. She's the first one uh, this month. And She's the one we have settled with. So in subsequent months, you'll be meeting a few more of them. And I think more importantly, we, I'm sitting here quietly, but I'm learning so much, you know, that we take so many things for granted, but business is, is an art. There's a strategy to it. You know, this whole thing about those who can develop the strategy and those who implement being two different, separate, I never occurred to me, but um, so I'm sure many of you are there to have learned a lot. Your final words before we go? To the community. To the community, yes. The business community. To the business community, yes. Yes, uh, what I would say is, you know, life is not fair. Life is not fair. Life is not fair. Mm. And so you need to move on when things happen to you. you are, we are humans. Mm. We can get hurt. But business, to me, is very spiritual. When I talk about spirituality in business, I don't mean church. Mm. Integrity, mm. Um, having faith, having network, mm. paying your bills, ensuring you do compliance, they're all spiritual. Mm. Your mm. taxes and all so that. So you don't go and say church, church, clap, 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 and do none of these things. Church. You have to combine it. Church is church, but um, to face reality, Church cannot make you. See, because even God said he has a door knocking. Mm -hmm. If you open the door, I will come. he comes. If you don't open, because um, No. And that is one thing people fail to realize in this country. You know, you need to work. Mm -hmm. Working mm -hmm. is form of church, going mm -hmm. to church. Mm -hmm. So business, to me, should be, uh, it should be carved in such a way that it benefits the society. And you should always try to give back. And mm. when you give back, you can get more. more. And that is mine. Put your hands together, man. <laughs> and that was Mr. Timothy. Uh, really fantastic. Absolutely. So one more time for our guest here. And uh, well, as I told you, you know, Safa is now collaborating with uh, STN network and each month when they come up with their member whether it's a he or a she <laughs> we shall be featuring them right here put your hands together now <laughs> well, you, see, you know what happens when you ask about family you married kids well quickly we have just about a couple of minutes to no, learn I'm, a little bit about your family i'm not married i'm not. single okay i have three kids okay one big girl and then twins are they all entrepreneurs or i don't think upcoming? so no i don't think so no I, um, the first one just joined, I'm hoping. The, the first twin is a pilot. Oh, okay. The second one is an engineer, and they don't want to know. Why? Because when I was struggling, they were not born, so they don't understand. They don't do <laughs> What are their names? 
Um, the twins, one is called Nyamiyama, mm -hmm. Nyamiyama and Inshira. Okay. And then the first one is called Ajwa Kusiwa. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So now uh, we have a restaurant now. We want to build a restaurant chain using our own product, the oil, the peanut butter and all that. It's at uh, Palace. It's a Ghanaian chop bar, sophisticated one. Really? Yes, come there. And at Palace? At Palace. It's called the H Restaurant by Home. It's called, it's called the... The H. Okay. Chop bar, fufu, bibiao. Really? It's nice. Come and eat. You will be there, man. <laughs> and you need to be there. <laughs> wow. So is, is it free operation now? Yes, it's open and everything? Uh, it was doing very well when it, uh, the COVID struck. Oh. So now it's open and it's doing very well. Go there and you have all the soups, the red, red, the bang kwine, everything. Choba, choba, choba. Yeah, baba. Baba. That's what we are. That's been great. And Felicia, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been inspiring. We've learned so much. And um, like your mother said, oh, mommy president, no, show him So thank you very much for joining us. That was, uh, that was uh, you know, over the bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, so one more time for our guests. And next week, We'll be back. The KSM Show. At year four. Pe wine and sata, me patch your pee. She shall man family wine. I'm ranty me and sa woman free Stellenberg, South Africa, ye and nature quine. Red wine, I would do ni be any cabinet savion. Melo, and a syrah. White wine, and so even a chardonnay, and a chanel blanc. Whoop as I will enjoy wine, ya. Me patch your pee. White wine, or seven eyes cold, and a red wine, and so man in your cook a cra. Whoop patch it, be dear more penny beer. Man a man family wine. Who ye party and a and so I am already free man family wine. Artist optional was Spintex Road in Crank One and a sole distributor at Ghana at the phone for 020 811 0618 059 261 1618 and 020 816 1601. Man family wine. Oh, be a see a year. No, me, you want to many power winning for you to watch and sesa pinfo no FDA, as you just saw, a JD and say a year. Nice you will look Oh, this girl that I like him. Baby, I like her, like him. Oh, now say, Sir, where are you going to be? Where are you going to look good to be. Hey, oh, you look good to be. 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 Oh, you don't don't Ah, where they all good to be, 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 be. Where they all good to be, hey. She don't love me too much. If she deliver me from my days of bad luck, she don't make her the folk comes to say, you wanna do that go go ga ga go go. She don't love me too much. If she deliver me from my days of bad luck, she don't make her the folk comes to say, you wanna do that go go ga ga go go. Eh, say tu 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 ah, say tu 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 ah, say tu 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 ah. Nanke you wanna do that go go ga ga go go. Say tu 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 ah.
pressure, 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 I don't get shake. Now catch her in the place. Now we go make it hey. Make it up with the muzo. Make it up with the muzo. Make it up with the muzo. I say way back when I started success. You sure say you never go worry. Hey, when you tell me say, baby I don't know that type of. Oh 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 oh. Go to bottom. Now you they give me pressure, go Now you they give me pressure, go Now you they give me pressure, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, move on. Come on, move on.